You could say some Michigan laws are now outdated. They're about to be in the history books. They're obsolete. The state Senate has passed actually a package of those bills. And it involves 80 laws. And now it just needs to go to the governor's desk for his signature. Our Jamie Edmonds breaks it all down for you. Are you having a bad day? Like a really, really bad day? Well, if you want to swear, I'd say let it rip. And believe me, we found plenty of people to do that. Are you f***ing serious? Anywhere. That's awesome. I told you that's some serious pent up frustration. But did you know all of those people are breaking the law? I don't really care about that. Swearing in front of women and children is a crime in Michigan. So is a woman getting her hair cut without her husband's permission. I read about that the other day and it be the fact I'm a fan of long hair, I really wasn't opposed to it. <laughs> Well, considering I have a hair appointment tomorrow and he has no idea what I'm doing, that's an antiquated law in our house. <laughs> Those are just two of more than 3,000 crimes on the books in this state, most of them hundreds of years old. Wednesday, the Senate voted to appeal 80 such laws like trespassing on a cranberry, huckleberry, or blackberry marsh, or prohibiting the use of words in print advertising relating to sexual diseases, including lost manhood, or Prohibiting certain endurance contests such as walkathons. Michiganders say it's about mm, time. I think they should be tossed out. I mean, what's the use of them anymore? But just because you can swear doesn't mean people will. So, do you want to let it rip? Uh, I usually do let it rip. Well, go ahead. Feel free. Oh, I don't want this. It's a safe space. People around. Do you ever swear in public? Uh, not really. Oh, no. No. Your mom taught you well? Uh, yes, I guess so. But then again. Okay, now I got to get. Back to work. That's what I got in this. In Detroit, Jamie Edmonds, Local 4.